Now here's a classic tool, the old round nose that cuts uh, this way, that way, and straight in. And it's quite versatile, easy to make. Got a little bit of back rake right here. And I got a little aluminum welded on this and it could use sharpening. So we'll do that. A little drop of spindle oil here on this uh, stone. It'll sharpen the top of it here. Get that uh, aluminum off there. Probably got on there because uh, I didn't put enough lube on it. And I'm going to turn a piece of aluminum with this. Looking good. Okay, I'm going to just go across the top of that a little bit, give that a good polish, or good enough. It's a pretty fine stone here. But I don't think I need to go to uh, ultra fine stone for this. Though it wouldn't uh, hurt. Okay, that top of that's looking pretty shiny. Now I'm going to do the edges. And I'm just going to roll that in there until I feel it drag. Get right to the tip of it. Feeling it drag a little bit. Yeah, just like that. It's feeling pretty smooth. Okay. I'll test it. It feels pretty sharp. Yeah, it shaves the thumbnail real good. And I'll put that in here. I extend it out just a little bit. Give myself some clearance. How's that looking? Looking pretty good. I got a uh, small tool post grafted on here instead of the giant uh, KDK for heavy turning little AXA size uh, wedge tool post. I'm going to set that right over here. Okay, that looks very good. Going to extend that out a little bit. Some half inch aluminum. I'll extend it out about that far. That's quite a ways. Maybe right about there. I might need a little bit more room. Get that good and snug in there. So I'll pull the tailstock back an inch or two. That's probably pretty good. Okay, we'll fire this up. Get my sleeves rolled up. Okay, I'm going to index this to a center drill. Run about 628.
get that started. Okay. Now I got three sizes of drills to use here. Should I get enough clearance? Move it back a little further. Okay. A little bit of lube on there. Start drilling. Now this one I'm not going to sink in very far. That should be pretty good. Got one here to go a little bit further. I think that should be about far enough. And I got a small one. sink in quite a far. I'm going to make uh, a file handle here. Kind of break those chips a little bit. Okay, I'm going to index around here to a countersink. A little lubrication on that. Looks good. Index it over for a live center. Lock that tail stock. I'm going to be sure uh, get quite a bit of lube on this. I'll shape a file handle. Tools are really pretty versatile. I'm gonna fade it out a little bit here.
Looking real good. Now I'm going to dig it in. Work it back and forth. like that. Looking pretty good. I'm not hitting the call it anyway. Okay, I'm going to back that center out. Blend this in. Give it a smooth transition right here. Working the cross feed and the longitudinal handle at the same time. Like using an Etch-a-Sketch. And that's it. We'll go install the handle. Okay. Here's the handle, and it's, uh, I found this little square file in a drawer, and I like to have handles on them, and uh, aluminum works pretty good. So I drilled that with three different size drills, and I'm going to carefully wrap that thing on with a hammer here. That's stuck on there pretty good. Hammering it, knock that little nub down. So I have a handle on that little square file now. Okay. Using classic tools on a classic lathe. Thanks for tuning in.